I say, I can make money off of social media. What you mean? You say like off of, off of Twitter. I said, what you mean? You say, you can make money. So it was a, a company called mylikes.com at the time. They let you actually post links on Twitter and you make money based off the traffic you send. So this is one thing I had to realize. I had to model after success. Somebody write that down. You want to model after success. That's what I did. So I had to learn social media. So I was on social media all day and not making no money off of it, right? And it started making me feel some type of way because when I got this car, I realized I could have been making money. So I had to solve a problem. See, every successful business is solving a problem. The bigger the problem you solve, the more money you can make. So I was solving that problem. So I started managing all these social media pages because I realized I started watching what all the big dogs was doing. So as they started adding me in this little group behind the scenes, I started realizing what they was doing and how they was doing it. So as I'm looking, I'm like, okay, they doing this, they doing that. So as a modeling after success, because success leave clues, I started taking those clues and I started to elevate, right? You never want to take what you have and keep it the same. You want to take it and you want to elevate it, right? You want to never be average, okay? You never want to be average. Okay, so that's why I understand anything that you put time into, you will get better at. So I started putting a lot of time and energy and looking what everybody was doing and they had a leaderboard. I got so great at it, I became number one. So as I became number one, I went to all the top 10 and I say, hey, listen here, Mr. Top 10. Evidently, you're number two and you would never be number one because that's my spot. But you can be a better number two. So how about I do this? I said, I will help build your page and make you even more money than you have. And let's do a 50-50 partnership. How many of you guys think that they did that partnership? <laughs> Every last one of them did that partnership with me. Not only I was saving them time, I was saving them energy. I was building their pages up and they didn't have to do anything. And I split the money dead in half with them, right? So I modeled out the success. I knew it worked and I had something proven that I knew that somebody else would benefit off of. So I brought them into the fold and I did the partnership with them. So you got to figure out how do you get an edge over competition? Write that down. How do I get an edge over competition? And that's what I did. I dominated the top 10. I got number one and I did a business deal with all top 10. Now I monopolized the whole industry. It was over a hundred thousand publishers on there and I had the top 10. Do you guys think I ran the whole freaking Twitter after that? I changed the way that Twitter algorithm works because we ran, me and Maddie J, we ran the top trending topics. They got upset because we was sitting there trending whatever we want. If we want to say Mike Toy and we want to say Mike Toy and we put your company name, we can make it trend in five minutes. If we want to talk about Franklin, we can make your trend just like that. Marjorie, we can make you trend just like that. And they got upset at us and they started controlling the trending topics. They got upset and this happened to me all the time. And I'm going to get into how Facebook did me the same way, right? I just bounce from platform to platform because they get upset at me. All right. So then as I started realizing, I started making them all this money. Remember this, every successful business owner know how to pivot. For example, Amazon started off with books. As Amazon started off with books, what do you know Amazon for now? Is it 100% just books right now? Absolutely not. They pivoted to something else that was really great for their business model. So remember this, how you start is not how you have to finish. The key word is start. As long as you start, everything else is promised after that. Because you align yourself with the right people, the right guidance, you can literally start and that money that you have in your brain will start and it will come along immediately. Somebody say immediately, all right? It will come quick. So you don't have to figure out how to start, just get started. Instagram was here just for photographers. What is Instagram right now? YouTube started off as a dating platform what is youtube now it has nothing to do with dating facebook started off as a way for people to connect in colleges okay so the thing is to get started somebody say get started you have to get started do not overthink it do not over procrastinate it do not do none of that just get going now right the opportunity is now no opportunity wasted i got that partnership going i got booked in london so at the time i believed in god but i wasn't into god if that makes sense i grew up in the church my grandma took me to church every week but i i like i got forced into it right it was not something i i i enjoyed doing 
I literally went to London because I got paid to go there. So I had to go. And then a guy um, had me in the car and my brothers was in there with me, my group. And he told everybody to get out the car. Once he told everybody to get out the car and I looked at him, I'm like, okay, yeah, he about to tell me, right? Because he got, he looking at me. So I'm like, what the hell are you looking at? So then he said to me, he was like, I know this might sound weird to you, but he said, God has a message for me to give you. I said, okay. He said, I had this message three years ago for you, but God put this on my heart to tell you right now. He told me this is the time. And I say, what is it? He broke down everything that God wanted me to do. He gave me, he gave me God's mission. And he said to me, if you agree to this mission, everything that you had and you accomplished is nothing compared to what God has in store for you. So I say, I'm in, I'm in, let's go. So God literally gave me my mission in life. Once I agreed, that night I started my company, Awazar. The same company I got all these awards for is awards, there's two awards up there, award right here, award right there, award right there, award right there, award right there. It's a war winning business. But the only thing that can explain the success is God.